Hey YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name is John. If this is your first time joining us, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, and if you like this content, leave me a like. Um, my name is John Erzberger. I'm a high ticket affiliate marketer. I have been in affiliate marketing for the past five years. I do this full time. Um, I'm a high six figure earner. And what I actually do with this channel is I uh, showcase the programs that I'm working with currently um, that I'm earning money with. So I never show you uh, programs that I'm not already earning money with. These are all programs that I use and um, this, is, this is all I do. This is what I do full time with my life. And I just uh, set this up to show you guys how to start earning online. And what I do is I offer step-by-step -step free training. So instead of launching you know, a $2,500 or a $5,000 course, I just put all of my training on YouTube for free. Um, literally, there's um, hundreds and hundreds of hours of different training modules where you can jump into and check it out. But what you guys have landed on today is my turn $25 into six figures in three months. And um, I use this program uh, daily. I've been using it for the past uh, three, three months, three and a half months. Um, and if you guys haven't seen me before, if you haven't seen this at all, jump over here to this first video it's going to be this video right here and you're going to want to watch that video that video is going to showcase the program that we're using it's only 25 bucks it's really easy to get in with and it even shows you my earnings on it over a three month period of time um, and how you guys can jump in and actually start doing it yourself now i'm on we're on day four today so uh if you haven't uh watched any of these videos you're gonna want to start here because this is gonna this is walking you through day by day step by step what you need to do and uh by the end of this you're gonna be successful you're gonna be making money with this rather quickly within a week or two you guys are gonna start having sales come in with this so um and if you guys want to uh, jump into it, after you click on this video here, I just want to show you guys where you can join because uh, I get asked this uh, quite a bit. I get quite a few uh, a lot of the messages come in with this. But if you click on the video and you're watching video day one, right underneath the video, there's a button that says more. You're going to click that button and that's going to open up the video description. This is the video description. Right here where it says click here to get started with HBA, that's the link that you're going to use to join this program. You click that button, it's going to take you over to a, a page for you guys to join. You guys can jump in, sign up. Um, they even have a trial available if you guys want to check that out. And you guys can just jump in and, uh, and, and follow along. Uh, that being said, you know, I'm going to jump into this real quick here uh, for our day four. Um, and today what we're going to be doing is actually setting up our autoresponder so if you guys uh, want to start here you can jump over here to your uh, uh, HBA um, uh, members area and right here under HBA uh, funnel builder Academy just click right here and you'll open up the funnel builder if you click that it's gonna open up your funnel builder now I already have this one opened up that we started the other day so I could walk you through it um, so I'm just gonna continue on with this so what you're gonna need today you are going to go, uh, need to go over to get response and uh, I'll show you a link for that too real quick so that you can get to get response a lot of the program if you click down here in any of my video descriptions click that button it's gonna say right here my first choice autoresponder join get response here and that's the one we're gonna be using for training on this now it's a free uh, there's a free trial so you can jump in and, and use it uh, it's very cheap otherwise it's not it's not expensive that's why I, I use that um, but go ahead and grab it right here join get response you can click that button and it's gonna take you over to uh, to get response I'll show you just like this and that's where you're gonna sign up um, so we'll go ahead and sign up real quick so that you can see how uh, how to do this and you can just follow along so if you're not here yet the next step what you need to do is go down to the video description click the more button and click this join get response right here that's the link join that and we are going to uh, sign up so just click sign up okay you're gonna enter your name whatever you want to enter your email uh, I'll just use uh, um, an email that I have uh, let me see if I can let me uh, let me um, actually pull this down I'll, I'll enter the the uh, 
password over here. Just I'm not sure if you guys would see it. Doesn't really matter, I guess. But there we go. So I entered that. Um, so fill it out just like this. This is the starter. Go in, click that. You're going to go down to my video, click the link. It's going to take you over here. You're going to fill this out, the free trial. Click create account. Bam. And right here is where it's going to come come to the page where you're, where you're started. This is, this is all you have to do to get started, okay? Um, it's going to say activate the account. Go to the email we just sent you. Um, and so you're gonna have to do that real quick. Let me just pop open an email quick and I'll do that. I'm gonna have to sign into it too. Mm -hmm. And just activate your account. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring you to this page. When you go to your email and you click the uh, activate account button, it is going to bring you to this page right here. And what you do here is just fill out your information. Actually, I should probably, uh, probably enter that separately too. I'm just going to pause this and fill it out. All you have to do here is, well, let me just move it over. I don't want to pause it because there's a next step I want to show you guys what to do here. So fill out your information, it has to be your information, um, address and all that jazz. Uh, and then click save and continue at the bottom. Now, this is what you're gonna see next. Do you have an online store? You can say, uh, yes I do. Or no, sorry, no I don't, you don't have a store. <laughs> you have a website though, yes I do, right here. Sorry if I, uh, you know, I only have to set this up once every time uh, that I start a program and use this. So bear with me a little bit. If you see me, um, uh, if I make any mistakes, I'll probably make a mistake or two here just because I haven't done it for a little while. Uh, but you're going to link to your website. You can just grab your website link. Um, if you want to link to it, grab it. It's, this is your website link right up here. It's the one that you created the other day um, that we created the domain for get out of that one and uh, you're just gonna enter it in here just like this it has to be just like this okay my my whatever your domain is it can't be HTTPS it can't be www dot it has to be just like that that's how you enter your your website on here um, do you have any contacts no not yet you don't now just click next step okay now it says right here you can go and choose a plan now you can do that now or later there is a plan that you can use right now you get a free trial with it um, uh, we don't need to explore you can go through the tour of it if you want to but we're not going to do that right now what we are going to be doing is just integrating it into our uh, site okay um, so what we're going to start with uh, now that we're in here you can actually what you need to do first a good thing to do is go up here to contacts and you're gonna create a list right here where it says create list click that and you're gonna name this uh, you can name it whatever you want but I always name it something related to this uh, this program that you're working with so I'm just gonna call it uh, 25 cash biz and I like to put just some initials after it or uh, sometimes if somebody else has this name for some reason it won't actually let you create the list but let's see how we do here maybe nobody has this there you go yeah nobody had that so just you're gonna if it comes up and says hey somebody already has the name like if you do $25 business or my 25 cash biz or whatever you guys are uh, that you can relate it back to your own website with um, to your own funnel here whatever you can relate it back I use something like this so I know that it's that that business the name uh, of that business um, name it that and then uh, and then you're good to go so the next thing we're gonna do is oh you guys can't see that let me see if I can minimize this a little bit um, oh I just can't I just clicked out of it just give me a second here to get back into it let me see if I 
which one this is. Yeah, okay. Here we are, we're back into it. Let me just uh, pull it down here and minimize it. I wanna show you guys something, but you can't see it from there. All right, here we go. So, if you're on this page, on the bottom right hand side over here, you're gonna see uh, right here where it says 25 cash biz and it's gonna have this default one. We, we are going to change this. We're gonna click on these three little dots right here on uh, get response on our list that we just created. We're gonna click these three little dots and we are going to hover over and go up to make default, okay? We're gonna make that the default list and then we're just gonna erase this one. This bottom list down here, we're just gonna go ahead and delete that. And it'll say, yeah, delete everything, delete everything. Okay, that's gone. So now all we have is that list, okay? I'm gonna pop this back open again. And if you didn't see that, you can kind of see it here on the side. It was just these three little dots. That's what you guys have to click. That's what I was trying to show you. Now, what we need to do is we need to integrate this into our, uh, into our funnel, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to the to our funnel. This is our funnel right here, and we are going to click on funnel settings, okay? Then we're gonna click right here. Now I was playing around with this earlier, so I already have one connected, but I'm just gonna remove it. So when you get here to settings, if you didn't watch this again, right here, this little cog, you're gonna click that. That's gonna take you into your settings. You're then gonna go to applications. Now, as you see here, I already have a get response, uh, my get response, because I was just playing around with this earlier. So this is my other my other uh, get response account, not the one we just created, obviously. So I'm gonna, um, I'm just gonna disconnect that one real quick. Uh, yes, I wanna disconnect. And I'm gonna show you guys how to add this. This is what yours will look like. When you click, click on applications, you're not gonna see anything there. So what you do is you click on add application right here. And you're gonna go down to get response right there. It says get response. And it says get response API key. So let's head back over to get response. We're gonna go right up here in the left, top left, it says tools, okay? And then we're gonna scroll down to where it says integrations and API. Can You guys can see that right here on the left-hand side. Uh, so where I went tools right here on the top left, then I went down here to integrations and API. And we're gonna click that. And scroll right across the top right here, you can see all these different uh, um, tabs. We're gonna click on API right there. And then we're gonna go generate API key. Now it says name, name your key. So we're gonna call this, whatever you guys named your, your first list or whatever your business is named, we'll do, we'll, we'll just call that this, right? I think I already have that, it was the one, but we'll just do that, okay? And then um, click on generate. That's gonna give you this key, this uh, API key right here. We're gonna press copy on that. We're gonna go back over to our funnel where it says get response API key, and we're gonna paste that in. Now you can click save and verify, okay? So now it's uh, it should be all connected. You can go to settings here. See what it says, if it's got it, it looks good. Um, and that should be integrated. We What we need to do now is head back over here and we're gonna click we're going, uh, I don't want to minimize this, but look, I'll raise it right above me. Right here on the right-hand side, the same place that you clicked uh, yesterday when we were adding uh, domain, you're going to click right here, right here, just right here. I'll show you. Right there. <laughs> That's where you're going to click. Okay. Click here. And this little cog right here that says edit settings, you're gonna click on that. And this is gonna pop up. Now we're gonna go down here to where it says at the very bottom, if you scroll down, at the bottom it says get response settings. We're gonna click on that and we're gonna choose this right here. That's the, that's the list that we just integrated into uh, um, from uh, get response into our funnel. That's gonna, that's gonna be what you see right there, just that one that we already created, your contact list. And we're gonna click on confirm. That's perfect. Now, up here in the top right, 
you want to click on save save okay now what we also want to do is we just want to double check and make sure that it is saving on um, that it works for a phone as well down here in the bottom left you'll see this help tab right underneath that help tab are three little boxes that's computer tablet and phone we're gonna click on the phone one on the bottom right right here you can barely see it right here right down here underneath this help tab you see this help tab on the bottom left right down here this this uh, third one to the right we're gonna click on that and that's gonna be the phone we're gonna click right here we're gonna click on settings we're gonna go down to get response settings and yep there it is it's right there it's already done so we're good to go okay that's all we're checking. Now you can go back over here underneath help and click on this computer. Uh, you can go save and stay if it asks, yeah. Save, oh, click on the computer down there. Oh, I see, it's wanting me to save. So first, go up here to the top right, click on save again, okay? Bottom left, over here underneath the help, there's a little computer tab, click on that. Okay, now we are all integrated into, um, into, uh, uh, get response and what we want to do now is we just want to test it. So if we head over here to get response and We click on contacts We're gonna see our list right here. Okay, this is the list we just created um, over here on the right hand side. Let me see if I can get uh, I'm gonna have to minimize this a little bit Right here on the right hand side you can see where it says zero right that's zero contacts in our list so what we need to do is we need to um, we need to test it. So we're gonna go back over to our funnel now. We're gonna click right here where our, our name of our uh, site is. That's gonna open it up. And we're just gonna enter our email. You can enter your email in here, okay? Uh, we'll use a different one. enter an email in here and click yes give me access okay so now we want to head back over to get response and make sure that this number updates right so I'm gonna I'm gonna refresh this I'm gonna minimize it so you guys can see right here you can see that it updated and it's working that means that our email list is connected properly and it's working that's a good sign right that's a good sign <clears throat> so next what we're gonna have to do is add some emails we're gonna we're going to be adding some emails into here and uh, just bear with me because like I said we are we are uh, um, I only have to do this once ever <laughs> once with every every time I use it so if, it, if I mess up forgive me I'm only a human being so um, so bear with me a bit. So we're gonna head back over here to our uh, home home biz uh, our uh, home business academy uh, members area, and you're gonna go back over here to where it says affiliate zone, okay? And if you guys haven't gone through here yet, you guys might have already had this done because I know the other day I mentioned, hey, uh, go through these step by step, and you and you will uh, it'll walk you through, and that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm literally just walking you through to the next. Uh, step by step that we continued on with yesterday which was we the last thing we did was setting up your custom domain so we're on autoresponder right now if you're wondering that's what we're doing you can click this button right here the autoresponder button it's gonna take you to the auto autoresponder integration with funnel builder that's gonna walk you through this as well if you ever get lost or um, if you haven't done that already though this is what I'm here for we're gonna I'm gonna walk you through it as well okay just to make sure that it's done properly so <clears throat> when you actually I, need, I should go back there no, we'll start with this right here. Okay, so right underneath this, so again, we are in the members area, okay, the HBA members area, and we've clicked on affiliate zone, right over here on the right hand side, affiliate zone, right here. We're gonna scroll down, it's back in step three, right here, three of four, and underneath this you see autoresponder but right underneath right underneath all of this you see this right here it says click here for the new five email follow-up series that you can add to your autoresponder what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on that 
click it a couple times if it doesn't work the first time. So click it. And that's going to give you this right here. These are going to be all of the emails. These are the first five emails that you use. Now, we have a whole bunch more emails. You don't have to go make your own if you don't want to. I can give you those. I'll actually leave them in the document. Um, and if you don't remember where the document is, let me just flip back over here real quick. Right here at the bottom, turn $25 in a six-figure daily checklist. You can click that document. And here's a, a bunch of different email swipes in here that you can take and actually use for these. And I can provide you with some more if you ask me. But um, we'll just keep that open for now. So let's go back to the, the page that we just opened, which is this all-in-one uh, autoresponder series. It has email number one, email number two, email number three, email number four and email number five right here we i'm going to show you how to do a couple of these and then i'm going to leave it to you guys to uh to do to do your own okay so what we need to do next is click on just give me a second Look, I already had some people coming on there because I still have this. I just switched it over while I'm doing this and I have people jumping. <laughs> it's funny. Um, so we need to click on, sorry, bear with me because I haven't done this for a little bit. I'm gonna pause this for just a second, just look through this for a quick second. All right, here we are. So. Um, sorry about that. I just had to search for something. I was I was looking in the wrong spot. Anyway, where we're going to go to is we're going to click on tools and autoresponders right here. So to see that again, it's under, oh yeah, you can click create autoresponder, okay? Create an autoresponder. So <clears throat> if you were wondering where that was, it was in tools and right here, autoresponders. You can click on that. That's gonna take us here. That's what we need to do now. That's what we're gonna use these emails for. We're gonna actually create it. So let's go back to our emails that we got from the affiliate zone. If you remember, we clicked here, opened up our emails. We've gone back over to get response, clicked on create autoresponder, and we're gonna grab this email right here. It says email number one. Go copy. And we are gonna go back over. So what, what I'm doing here is I'm just copying this title. I'm gonna go back over here to um, Untitled Autoresponder and I'm going to paste this in. And that says uh, email number one goes out right away. And um, we are going to leave this. If you go down here, you're gonna scroll down just a little bit and you're gonna see where it says Autoresponder Settings. We're gonna leave this on day zero, same time as sign up time, that's what it says. We're gonna leave everything else. And uh, subject line, we're gonna go back over here, and right here is our subject line. Congrats, Here, here's your access info, okay? We're gonna copy that. Put this right here. We're gonna go back over to get response, and in subject line, if you didn't see where that was, it's right here. It says subject on the email, on the first email. We're gonna grab that subject line, we're gonna paste it right here in, uh, oh, no, I didn't copy it, I guess. Copy that, and we're gonna paste it right here in subject line, okay? Congrats, here's your access info, okay? Next, <clears throat> we're gonna go to where it says des design and content, okay? We're just gonna click right here where it says uh, design message. And this is very easy, so don't get, don't feel, uh, overwhelmed or anything you just literally follow along and once you do it one time or two times you're gonna just it's gonna be easy we're gonna click on um, blank templates right here and we are gonna, just gonna grab a blank template completely blank template and click on that now that's gonna open up this right here okay all we're going to be doing is we are going to be dragging across this text this text box right here you see right here we're gonna pull that over here right into there that's all that we're gonna be using here. We're not using anything else. Now we're gonna go back over here to our email and we are gonna copy the entire email right down to here. Copy that, the first email. 
back over here and paste it in. Now, it's gonna be it's gonna be big. It's gonna look like this, okay? We pasted it into our text box that we just added. We're gonna right click, select all, and right up here at the top, next to where it says Arial, we're gonna click this little drop down and we're gonna change that to 16. There you go. Now, <clears throat> the other thing we're gonna do, we're not gonna add any logos, we're not gonna do anything like that, but what we're gonna do is right here, where we see first name, we're going to erase that, just, just highlight it, delete, and right here, you see this little, this little button right here? Right there, that little, looks like a little guy. <clears throat> we are going to click on that. And this is just a customization tab. So we're just going to customize the email. We're going to add a uh, um, we're going to add something more personal. Right here, you're going to see where it says first name. We're going to click that box. Click it. There you go. So now it says, "Hey, first name." So when somebody opens this email, it's going to be like, it's going to say, "Hi, first name. Hi, Bob, jo John. Hey, John." And um, let's just go th go through this email a little bit to make sure that it's all the spelling looks correct. It should pop up with something that says the spelling's off if it is, but just you can look through here and see for yourself what you, you know, just double check your emails. That's what I do. I already know that this one's fine. Right here, <clears throat> where you see it says, uh, here you go, your AIO affiliate sales page link. Now, this is where we are going, going to add um, our affiliate link. So, where we need to go, I'm actually going to pause this because I got to log back into my uh, my back office, and I'll show you guys how to get there too. So just one second. All right, so I figured I better show you guys how to get in there anyway. So right here, where you go, if you're back on your home business academy uh, under step one, that's where you log into your SAM cart. You can just click that; it's going to take you over. You're going to click this button to log in. I've already logged into my other account here to show you guys, um, but. <clears throat> what you're going to be looking for that's going to log you into this this is where we get our link this is where we got our link to add to our funnel um, and you're going to click right here where it says the all-in-one 25 dollars business that's the link that's your affiliate link we're going to copy that we're going to head back over here to get response and right here where it says here you go we are going to highlight this and up here there's a little button next to that personalization that we just did a second ago. You're going to see this link. It looks like a chain link. It says insert link. We're going to click there and we're going to paste in our affiliate link right there. So that's going to add our affiliate link to this email and we're going to click insert. Now, while we have this highlighted, we are going to make this a little bit bigger. We'll make this an 18 just so it's a little bit bigger. We will also make it bold. So hit the bold right here so it stands out a little bit. Now we're going to delete this, this red right here. We're just going to delete that, okay? And right down here, it asks you to uh, personalize it. So you're going to just put your name. You're going to erase this. It says you can add your contact info or whatever you want on here, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to put our name. And that's going to be good to go. That'll be, that's it. That's all that we have to do for this first email. That's it, right? So next, all we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go up here to the to the top right. It's gonna say next. We're gonna click on that, and there you go. That's all done. So we scroll down to the bottom. We got everything added that we were supposed to. We have the the first the title email goes out right away. Just so we know that one goes out right away, um, and we have it set on, like for day zero, which is just the same time they sign up. Bam, it goes out, um, and then we're gonna go down here to the bottom right right down here right there where my head is there's a button that says save and publish and we're going to click we're going to click on that bam save and publish so same thing again we are we are going to go and create another autoresponder so click on create autoresponder and it's untitled this time what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to go to the second email right here and we are going to, we're gonna highlight this, press copy, go back over here to uh, get response on our autoresponder and we're gonna paste that in. But 
we're gonna change this one a little bit. We're gonna have email number two and we're gonna put day one, okay? The reason that we're putting day one is because we're gonna go down here now under where it says autoresponder settings and we're gonna, we're gonna change that from zero to one. So that means that it'll send out on the next day, the day one. Day one, the first one, if you remember, it was sent out automatically right then. This is gonna send out the next day. We're gonna scroll down here where it says subject line. We're gonna go back over here, grab our subject line, copy that, paste in our subject line, scroll down, and we're gonna do design uh, design a new message again, design message. Back up here to the top, blank templates, blank template. Same thing, we're gonna grab this text right here and we're gonna put it right there. We're gonna go back over to our emails. We're gonna copy this, this entire email just right here, bam. Copy that, back over to get response and just paste it in. Again, it's gonna be big, it's gonna be huge. So we're gonna change that. Select all, right click, right click right in the screen, hit select all, go up to this little uh, box, turn that to 16, okay? <clears throat> now, same thing as what we did last time. We're gonna go where it says first name here. We're going to delete that. We're gonna click on personalization and we're gonna add first name. You can put a comma after it if you'd like, okay? That way it's just connecting with people more personally and that's what we really wanna do with email marketing is try to be as personal as possible. Um, now the next thing you can do, it says you can, so you can read through these emails but down here where it says your affiliate link, this is where we're going to enter our affiliate link. Wherever you see this red, that is where we're gonna do it. So it says you can watch it here if you want. We're gonna erase this and we're gonna type in click here to watch it now. We'll put that. Actually, let me see here. This is gonna say if you yeah, yeah, that'll work. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back over to our affiliate affiliate. Uh, where we get our affiliate link to our SAM cart. We're gonna hit copy on our affiliate link, all in one $25 business. That's the one we're using. Copy that. Back over here, we're gonna highlight this, what, the text that we just added. Click here to watch it now. Oh, we're gonna highlight that. We're gonna go up here to the link. We're gonna paste it in and hit insert. Now, we're gonna make that one size bigger. Maybe we'll make it, we'll make it uh, 18. Cause I think we're 16, so we'll go 18. And make it bold. There you go, so now it stands out. People can see it and again. Just add your name. There you go. Ready to go, that email's ready. They, that autoresponder is ready. So these are gonna work for you. Basically what it's doing, what we're setting up here is an automated email sequence, okay? That's what an autoresponder is. They're automatically responding to people signing up to your, uh, to your platform. So when people enter their email, um, this is gonna send them out an, a message right away and say, hey, welcome, check this out and give them a link to go back in and sign up. This helps uh, convert more sales. That's why we're using this. It works really, really well but we need to have it set up first before I can show you how to start bringing in traffic for this, right? And we have some cool ways to do that. But let me click uh, next here. And we're gonna scroll down. Everything looks good. We're gonna hit save and publish. There you go. So now you got two already going out. You can see right here where it says cycle day. This one goes out uh, automatically. This one goes out on day one, the next day. We'll do one more together real quick. Create autoresponder. Go down to our next email. 
email number three. We're just going to copy that. Go back over to get response. Paste it in. Email number three. Day two. And we're going to set this to day two. So we just go up one each day, right? So we just want to make sure we keep those in order. Scroll down here to subject line. We're going to grab our subject line. You got questions. Hit copy. Paste it in there. <clears throat> we're going to go right here where it says design message. Click on that. Go back up here to blank templates. Open up a blank template. Grab the text box, which is right here. If you guys have been wondering, it's right here. Grab it, drag it over and let it go. Head back over here. Grab the body of our email, okay? This is a long one. We're gonna hit cop, we're gonna copy that. Head back over here and paste it in, okay? Now we're gonna right click, we're gonna select all, we're gonna change that to 16. We're gonna go back up here to the top where it says, hey, first name. We're just gonna erase the first name part. Right here, click personalization, add the personalization. First name, right here, bam, click that in. Now you can go down, just make sure everything's good again. Check it out. Look for, uh, actually what I'm gonna look for up here. Email password, here's what my friend business partner. Yeah, it's just some questions. I'm just looking through here. I like to look through and see if there's more than one spot to uh, enter a link. Sometimes if you want, you can add another link, add a couple links in here. Um, and then just read over what uh, what it's saying here when you're adding a link and see if it makes sense to you. And looking to serve long time any long term anyway, all the fine details are here. So then you can take this, you can, you can uh, put click here for the details. Because I'm just going off of what this said and looking to serve long term anyway all the fine details are here so i'm just going to put click here for the details exclamation then we're going to highlight that well we, we don't have to yet we got to go over and get our link first on sam cart go back grab our link so just keep these tabs open while you're doing it keep your sam cart affiliate link tab open while you're doing this so you can go back and forth and copy back over to get response and it's already highlighted i highlighted it we're going to click this link button we're gonna paste it in, hit insert. We're gonna uh, make this text an 18, just a little bit bigger. We're gonna click bold and that's that, okay? Now we're gonna, same thing, just enter our name. Just like that, okay? That's perfect, done. Hit next. and save and publish. All right, so there's three of the five already. You can go do the other two on your own. It's pretty easy. And what I'm gonna do is, as I had mentioned before, now they have some more emails somewhere on the site. I'll find them and leave them in there as well. Um, I know they have some, uh, they have some emails in here that you can use. I will, I'll, uh, I'll show you where to get them or I'll put them on here. I'll put some emails, but there's, I have a bunch of email swipes in here that you can use, or you can write your own. If you're interested in writing your own emails, I sometimes I do uh, my own emails. Now, what we're gonna do tomorrow is we're gonna start getting into um, some of the, the, the lead generation techniques that I use. So um, what you're gonna wanna do is at least get these five emails added. I would suggest doing Maybe after these five, maybe you could add another, you know, 50 to 80 emails. Um, I know it's going to take a little bit of time, but you can probably knock it out in about an hour or two. Um, at least have the five set up, okay? Because you definitely want to have some kind of follow-up sequence going out 
uh, when we're bringing these leads in. Then we're gonna get into the lead generation part, and that's kind of the fun part. That's where I really come in and where I can shine and show you guys how to shine and how to start really producing these sales and getting sales coming in right away. I would not be surprised if some of you start having sales by the end of the week. Um, if you can keep following along with this and just and uh, and actually put the time and the work in, okay? Um, because this works, it works extremely well. And I have a couple different methods that I talked about that we're going to be using. Um, we're going to be focusing on some organic methods such as social media. We're going to be focusing on a couple different types of social media, not only just social media posting and uh, video content and regular posts, which are two separate things. Um, content creation in general, we're going to do a little bit of that. Um, we are also going to be focusing on some paid options um, and some paid options that you guys can jump into rather quickly. If you guys uh, are already getting this email part set up and done and you think you can handle it without me walking you through it, um, you can actually, I'll show you where you can start if you want to just start pumping some leads in right now. Down here, if you click on the video, if you go down here to the description, click on more. I have some traffic. Here's a really good traffic option that I use myself. It says get quality traffic sent straight to your business. Now you guys can use uh, that link. You do have to follow this strictly exactly like this or it will not work. You have to go to step one and then you have to go to step two because that gives you a discounted uh, package but you can't use it unless you go here first and have this account set up. You have to have this set up first or it will not work, okay? Because this is a specific link of my own that uh, offers a discount and it uh, does something for you guys uh, on the back end. So check that out. And um, if you want to, if you're ready to get into that part of it, that's going to be our one of our next steps. I'm going to show you how to do all this. Uh, we're going to walk through it together um, in, in a later video here. Uh, but we're going to start doing some of this lead generation uh, videos tomorrow, okay? Um, and going over a couple other things um, that I like to use. Uh, but that being said, you know, um, uh, that's pretty much all that we're going to have for today. If you guys want to continue on, um, if you go over here back to the affiliate zone, I, I, you know, I know that some of you have already gotten through some of this, but if you want to continue on, go through the rest. Uh, make sure that you go down. This was step three that we just finished. We set up our autoresponder. It's all set up. It's running. We finished that. You guys can go down here to um, uh, get traffic to your funnel and start looking at some of this these options that they have in here. But I have some really good ones that we're going to go through. And um, but it's nice to, it's nice to see all your options and actually go through the platform and, and check some things out. Um, there's some cool stuff here in the. Uh, Financial Literacy Academy, and actually, you can uh, on an, on your account, you're gonna see you can have some options here to to purchase into a couple different options that give some really cool stuff in there too that uh, that you can go over and look at if you want to as well. I, I have uh, I use all of these myself, so um, you guys can go check it out too. Um, uh, see if you want anything in there. There's some that you get you can gain commissions on them as well, so they're worth 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 getting into. But check them out, see what you think. Um, and other than that, that's pretty much all that we're going to be doing today. You know, it's already been what I think we're at 40 minutes or something like that on this video. I, I'm glad you guys got your uh, autoresponder all set up. Everything's rolling on our site. Now we're good to go. Everything is just ready to roll. Um, I don't think we have much more uh, left to do other than just get things fired up and going. That's all that we have to do. Everything is on. We can see our autoresponders are turned on. Um, and. We are good to go. Yeah. So that was a good video. Thanks a lot for watching. Hey, if you guys like this video, do me a favor. Leave me a like. If you um, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, go hit that subscribe button. That helps me out a lot. I appreciate it as well. I also like any likes and any comments that you guys can give me. Any questions, anything at all, uh, drop them in the comments. But also hit that bell icon. That way you're notified exactly when my video drops. You'll get notified. So you have to hit the subscribe and the bell and you'll be notified. Hey, if you guys want to join me on Facebook, in the video description, you're going to find a link to my Facebook as well. Go jump in there and you guys can connect with me personally if you'd like. Um, other than that, you guys have a nice day. Thanks for watching and I will see you tomorrow.